minister, friends, and uh, future friends. It's a pleasure to be here this evening. You'll notice that I'm speaking in English. Um, I take responsibility for not learning Hungarian yet, but I think you should take a little responsibility for how difficult the language is. And I've studied Chinese, so this is a difficult language. Um, I'd like to share just a few thoughts. Really, uh, first, congratulations to the companies, to your organization. I, I think this is a great focus. Uh, my wife and I, we have four children. They're all adults now. But I know how hard, hard it is to raise children. At one point, we had three children in diapers, and that's not easy. And you need help. You need support. And so I love the idea that companies are thinking about their employees and that they have lives outside of work. I love the idea that you're thinking about life work balance and trying to make sure that this is good for your employees. Um, I'm really not going to focus on that part, on the corporate part, on the trade part. That's usually what I talk about. I'm going to talk about something personal and talk about taking personal responsibility for the tools and the opportunities that the corporate, um, that the companies actually provide. I think sometimes we forget to really take the opportunities that are there for us. So I'm going to tell you a personal story that happened to me um, a little while ago. It was July 2020, and my wife and I were visiting friends and family in California. And uh, I had kind of a health scare. Uh, I had a stroke. And so my wife realized I was having a stroke. And she told me I was having a stroke, and of course I naturally fought her initially and said, no, I'm just tired, let me rest. Um, she likes me to point out that she saved my brain because if she wouldn't have gotten me the health care that I needed, then my brain would have uh, shut down and, and we don't know what would have happened. But certainly I wouldn't be able to speak today because that was the part of my brain that was affected. I couldn't talk for a few hours. So she got me help, and I, I got an ambulance, and I went for a ride in an ambulance, and then uh, went to a small hospital, who then sent me to a bigger hospital by helicopter, and uh, they had the tools they needed to fix the stroke. They basically went in, and with a vacuum, they sucked out the blockage. And so I went from not being able to speak to being able to speak again, and that was very nice for me and uh, for my future. During this time that I was having the stroke, and I was in the ambulance and in the helicopter, I thought about my life, and I reflected back on really the past 20 or 30 years. And uh, I was able to reflect and think about what I liked and what I didn't like about my life. And I was mostly happy. I was mostly content because we raised our children. We've had some amazing experiences together, and I can reflect on some really nice times. But I was hoping that it wouldn't end. And so I was able to think about the future. And so I gave myself two challenges that I would like to share with you today. And the first challenge is, don't let a year go by that you don't do something significant. And by significant, I mean something that you will remember for the rest of your life. That you would be able to look back at 2021 and say, in that year, I had this experience or I had this achievement, something significant. So I'm going to give you just one quick example. In March of this year, uh, we had been in the country for a few months, and we had a challenge at the embassy to walk or run as many kilometers as we could in one month. And I decided to take this challenge. At the beginning of the month, I felt kind of down, and I was frustrated. We're all going through a hard time right now. But I started to walk. And I started to discover the beauty of this city. And so every day I would walk into work, and then during lunch I would go for a walk around the city, always a different part of the city. And it's amazing the beauty that I discovered among the streets in Budapest. And it raised my, um, my happiness level, uh, I would say fourfold at least. By the end of the month, I had walked about 400 kilometers and I had really discovered this city, and I was feeling better, and of course it helped with my health as well. So I would challenge you, even during the hard times, make sure that you plan ahead and do something significant. It can be an experience or an achievement, but something significant. Of course, many of us, we think first of family, 
and that's what we think about. And, and then for me right now, it's with my wife. I like to have experiences and, uh, and uh, we seek out experiences that we can remember for the rest of our lives. So that's one I'll never forget. So that's one challenge. Don't let a year go by even when it's challenging like the years we've been facing. The second challenge, do less and you might actually experience more. So it seems to go against the first challenge, but what I mean by that is try and simplify your life. Try and go away from some of the noise. So going back to my example of walking around the city, one thing that I did during this time is I would leave my glasses in the office. I can see fine like this, but with my phone, I can't read messages, text, message or te text messages or emails without my glasses. And so during that time when I was walking around the city, I was able to focus. And I think that's something that we all lack these days, is being able to focus. And so I made a small change so that I was able to focus during this time walking around, but I think it made a big difference. And so that's my second challenge to you, is to try and minimize what you're doing so that you can focus. So I'll end with this thought. Um, when I was in the ambulance thinking, and I accepted that I was having a stroke, and I was thinking about my life, there were a couple of regrets, small regrets that I had. But I can tell you one regret that I did not have. I didn't sit there and think, I wish I would have spent more time in the office. I definitely didn't think that. In fact, I thought the opposite. And so these days, I'm really trying to take advantage of the opportunities that we have. Um, for example, when we have leave time and we can take holidays, I take those holidays. And then I do another small thing. I tell my colleagues, if it's just me going on a, a trip somewhere, I say, I'm not going to check my e emails every day. If there's an emergency or something you need to involve me in, you can call me. But I'm not going to spend the time on holiday looking through my emails to see if there's something that I need to address. My colleagues can let me know if there's something like that. So that's my challenge to you. Achieve experience but also try and minimize the noise so that you can really be involved. For many of you, that's going to be with family and friends, and I wish you all the best of luck in doing that. Thank you. Thank you.